guys. I'm Morgan from The Nocturnal. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Fantastic. Right. How you doing? Good. Um, okay, so my first question is for Aldis. Um, you know, Alex Cross, he's smooth, he's confident, um, he's intelligent, has his PhD. Um, mm -hmm. What drew you to this role and what was it like playing him? How did you make this your own in a sense? So the what drew me to the, this role was actually all those things that you said. <laughs> uh, the fact that we uh, so when I first read the script, I read like 15 pages and immediately called my team and said I wanted to go talk to to the writer and, and see what's up, because I had been looking for this desperately for a number of years in my career to be able to represent what I feel the true nature is of. To, to what I feel to be the true nature of uh, what our culture is, where it's we marry uh, excellence, education, intellect, uh, beauty, uh, curiosity, but also, you know, a little swag, a little raw street edge, a little uh, a little braggadocio and humility all in the same box. And this is a man who's brilliant. He's got street smarts, book smarts, and puts them together seamlessly without having to explain or apologize or surmise that for anybody. It just is what it is, and you're going to get what you get. Mm -hmm. He walks in a room unapologetically, and that's what I love. He is who he is. He knows it, and he's going to. you're going to have to deal with him. That's yeah. it. That's that's what's kind of disarming about him, too, is when he, walk, when he walks in like mm -hmm. that, it takes people off guard. Yeah, because he you already knows him. Yeah, and it, it makes them take a step back. Yes, game, set, match. You already beat the <laughs> moment I clocked the door, you was done, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then for both of you, obviously, in the series, you guys have 50 years of working together. You guys are lifelong friends, um, basically family, like Batman and Robin. Um, what was it like working together? I'm assuming you guys have a pretty good like relationship off camera, too, and that just translates on camera. I cried every day. Yeah, yeah. I, for I, hours. I, you know, it's, it's one, of, one of the things, you know... <laughs> I can't even lie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, like, you, you, you had, you know, you have moments where you're like, you, maybe you have a job at, I don't know, I used to bartend. So you work, you know, at a bar and you just like, you, you know, know some, somebody, some, anyway, somebody was, uh, <laughs> somebody over the next bar was like leaving a mess or something. You're like, man, I just wish I had somebody who was just clean and just, you know, keep their space clean and whatever. Like I couldn't ask for a better partner, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't Likewise. ask for a, a better uh, uh, co-star, you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, this man really like he, he raises me to my highest level, so I'm, I'm just very appreciative of I him. Appreciate uh, it. Except when he starts telling my secrets. <laughs> <I'm> Tell <telling laughs> what secrets? Now, nah, look, I say this: look, we hold each other up, we hold each other down, yeah. and we have so much respect for each other behind the scenes. What you see on screen, on camera, is what happens off screen, you know. That's true. And uh, the way we go at this, I think we're both so grateful though for the opportunity that's here because it is so rare um this particular vehicle for our work um you just want to take care of it and to do so you have to take care of your people you that's know true. you gotta be when you come around good people that's lucky it's you not very that common in this industry <laughs> yeah. yeah and then i guess my last question really quickly is what would you guys want people to know about this thriller crime scene series like what makes it different from the rest this show is unlike any thriller you've ever seen before. Contagious. I mean, <laughs> balance. Yes, it is a thriller to the root of its core. But what makes it a thriller mm -hmm. is the fact that we understand these people's home lives, right? We understand their relationships. We understand the family man. We understand the friend, the brotherhood here. And when that is challenged, that's when things really get dangerous. That's when things really get scary because now you're invested, you know, as, as, Ben, our showrunner says, look, you show up for the mystery, you stay for the characters. Yes. So these characters right here. Yeah. yeah. Undeniably yeah. contagious. But the way the show is narrated and structured, I love thrillers. I love crime shows. I love all that. But this is unlike any crime show that I have ever seen. And I can't wait. It's something I can't even quantify in words, but I cannot wait for people to see it because they're going to get it. They're going to understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want people to enjoy it as much as 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 I've heard other people tell me yeah. that they enjoy it. You know, like yeah. like friends that have who've seen it or, or or uh coworkers who have seen it, you know, people on the crew and whatnot. They you, you know you know what's even more surprising is not to cut you off, no, no, speaking no. of that, the way other people enjoy it, you get to live in the mind of the killer. That's that's you know that's the thing that you, get you to don't understand. always get. And, yeah, and like there's moments between him and the killer where you see a true tete-a-tete, -tete, you know, Batman-Joker dynamic where, 
one person knows the other person just as good as the other person knows him. So, yeah. you know, it, ma it makes it really a, a tough dynamic and it's even more enjoyable for the audience. Yeah. I was impressed by both of your performances. Um, you guys were so amazing. Um, Ryan, I know that, you know, your character, he's suave, he's confident, he's very meticulous. Um, and then Eloise, your character, Shannon, you know, she's a sweet woman, um, loves her friends, loves her family, and then ultimately just gets wrapped up in something horrible, right? Um, so what was it like to play both of your roles and what drew you to, you know, both of your perspective roles? Well, it was an absolute blast. And that sounds bizarre because it was incredibly <laughs> hard. And when you watch it on screen, it's it's pretty brutal. Um, but getting to uh, be a part of this project and to work with such spectacular actors, most of all, Ryan, um, was was just a total treat. Um, I, 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 we just, we had a, we had a sort of a weird fun time yeah. doing it um, and, and, and that was incredibly fun, really. And the project on a whole, I, I believe so strongly in this show. Um, you know, on the on the surface, it's a heart pumping thriller, detective thriller. And underneath yeah. all that, it has so much heart. And it's really about the power of love and the strength of family. So to be part of a project like that, I just I feel incredibly lucky. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. I echo everything Eloise said. I mean, in terms of the character, it was just something totally new, especially coming off playing a character who was full of warmth and empathy for so many years to jump into this character who completely lacked empathy and remorse <laughs> was, you know, uh, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit psychopathic. Um, it was uh, an exciting challenge. Um, and working with Eloise was so much fun because of the way she embodied this character so authentically and not just sort of one note of being afraid, but many different shades to it and tactics and sort of watching her fight to retain her humanity amidst this situation that is so, you know, um, terrifying in that way. And, uh, and, and we did ironically have a lot of fun <laughs> and, <laughs> and find some humor between these moments because you have to, when you've got pliers in someone's mouth and you're about to pull their tooth out, you just got to laugh. <laughs> um, and then no. lastly, speaking, just speaking to the show. Yeah. The, the world that, Ben Watkins created is just so, um, so alive and so fresh and feels like such a fresh take on this character that we all know and love. And it's sort of the same character that we love in a, in a new context, in a new world, in a new tone, I think that feels very contemporary and very relevant and, um, and very exciting. And how was it to tap into your character, Ryan? Was there any, you know, prep work that you had to do or how did you, you know, like, I guess, relate to that personality or to jump into that character? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good question to ask with a character like this, because you're like, where do, where do you relate, you know, to, to, to a killer on? Uh, but, <laughs> you know, when you, when you play a villain, there are fun questions to ask about how does a person become this way? And how do you get to the point where you're capable of inflicting this sort of kind of violence and you're capable, or you lack the ability to connect with another human being, you lack you know, the, the ability to empathize in things. And, um, and you, you know, certainly watch documentaries and things and read about real killers and mm. figure out how they got there and how this happened. But also, yeah, I think there's a very simple trick of sort of finding those parts of yourselves that are the uglier sides of our emotions, whether it's, you know, fear, anger, jealousy, whatever it is, you know, sometimes I use the example of, you know, we've all been cut off on the freeway by someone and you have that momentary reaction of anger or whatever that is, you take something like that and you sort of magnify it and explore it. And, and then that becomes a rage you can use or whatever it is, you know, cause we're all human beings full of a whole spectrum of, you know, a feeling light and dark, you know? Yeah. And then last question um, for Eloise, what is, I guess, the possible message behind safety on social media? You know, because I think that that's <laughs> how, you know, yeah. your character sort of gets wrapped up in, you know, the horrible things that she's wrapped up in. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> that's a great question. And, and I'd like to think that there's some sort of lesson you can learn from Shannon and something that she did wrong, but I actually think that she did everything right. Um, and it still went horrifically wrong. Um, right. So, you know, I would say like, <laughs> be careful about who you go out with, like, uh, sorry, touch base with like your mother or your friend and tell them where you'll be. But Shannon did all that. So, um, you know, I think you just have to trust your gut and, and maybe there was a moment where Shannon could have 
realize you sort of see it in the coffee shop scene where you can right. kind of tell that she's like something's off mm. um and she still tries to push through and and remain hopeful that he could be somebody so i guess i guess trust your gut yeah. um would be my my ultimate sort of lesson in it but you know we're all just doing our best out there and and social media and online dating so um, <laughs> you know <laughs> a minefield hopefully Challenge not this bad real. kind hopefully of minefield. Yeah. yeah <clears throat> well, it was great to talk to you both um thanks for you know hopping on and talking to me today thanks Thank so you. much it's a nice pleasure. and your character um you know l how was it building a backstory for her and alex cross knowing that you know you guys are friends to lovers um but we didn't get to see you know you guys growing up and building that friendship so how did you do that and how was it yeah, no, part of my process is what I like to call creating the world. So right. for Elle's world, I created all the way from the first uh, memories of her parents and who she was closest to. There's always one, you know, their daddy's girl, mommy's girl. And, right. and, and if there were siblings, or if there wasn't siblings, um, the neighborhood in D.C. where she grew up with with Alex and her first memories of meeting him on the playground as kids. You know, mm -hmm. all of these little memories, I just I built them out really detailed so that when we came to a scene together, all of that subtext is there. This familiarity, this intimacy, this transparency, because we've seen each other through all of these uh, metamorphoses. So it's, right. it's wonderful to see how it plays out. You just have them and you hold them and you trust that that process will bring them forward when it needs to happen. And how important is, you know, your character in keeping Cross grounded um, and supporting him and, and things like that and how he's, you know, moving throughout his career? Um, how is How important is that? This is a double answer just because the way he grows up, you know, he only has Nana Mama. So the world he lives in, a strong Black woman is really what he leans into. And it's natural because of the root systems that is his storyline. Mm -hmm. Naturally, when I come in, there's already there's already that established of, you know, right. another woman a entity that happens to be black, but a woman that is there that keeps him honest. And right. I think there's a breath and levity, um, but also this um, stillness that L brings to the to the relationship, which he really resonates with and needs because Nana Mama has done the same. And right. so really just piggybacking on that. And not that Elle is aware, but we see that. We see the how many women are in his life that he really does need. And what what drew you um, to this role coming in and, and playing that? What didn't draw me to the role, baby? My <laughs> gosh. I mean, oh my goodness. I I will tell you a story that in during the audition, I remember... I was given a note by Ben. Okay. We need her strong. We need her to come strong. She's not, it's not so much emotional. It's not that she's not, un, she's unemotional, but she, we need Elle to be strong for when Cross is emotional. And I thought, okay. Right. I'm an empath by nature as Samantha. But in that moment, I was like, ah, this is not at the forefront. Right mm -hmm. now, what he needs is this. And so, that was always the challenge because as an empath, as Samantha, I just want, I'm feeling all the feels. I, I understand. I, I, I sympathize. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I was like, nah, this is the, this is the challenge for Elle to always stand rooted like mm -hmm. a tree. And as the wind blows, she does not move. She no. is unmovable. And so that was really fun. And how does this series, I guess, it, you know, in your mind, differ from other thrillers and other crime series, you know, out in uh, Amazon, whether it be Netflix or how does it differ? I think you're getting everything in one. So like if you love a good thriller, this will keep you guessing. Anything you find suspect, put put down take risks and and see if you're right because I, I guarantee you their twists and turns are satiating and then of course you have a really complex love story that is not formulaic it it has its peaks and it has its valleys and so i think we really showcase the family unit as authentically as possible a love story that is hard and complex and not linear and so we there is this beautiful mirror to society that says we want to 
honor you here? Do you see yourself reflected? How does this series differ from the books? I know that this is um, a book to TV adaptation. So how are, um, I guess, yeah, what are the, like, the similarities and the differences um, between the series and the books? Well, I would say one of the things that you get with this TV series is just the advantage of telling this story on television. You have more real estate. So I think if you're doing a movie, especially a mystery, you really have to make sure that that plot with twists and turns is is the, the driving force. And sometimes you have to make a choice between plot and character in order to wrap it up. You got less than two hours in the television show. We get eight episodes. So we got a chance to do a really intricate, really compelling mystery. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we got a chance to delve into these characters and that's what I think that people are going to appreciate because you get to know Alex Cross more and you get to see him dealing with a lot of the things that um, are going to be familiar with us, you know, you know, familiar with dealing with grief, dealing with family uh, obligations and, you know, wanting to be the best dad, but also wanting to catch a killer. And, uh, and then you get to see personal relationships with, with his, you know, this budding romance with L or, or most importantly, this core friendship that he has with his best friend, um, lifelong best friend that's being strained because of things that have happened recently. Those are all things that we get to have fun with that I don't know you could have done in a movie. How important was it for you to portray those like real life occurrences in the series? I know that there were a few ties between, you know, the black community and law enforcement. So how important that was like for, was that for you to portray? That was really important for me for the same reason that it's important to show those other things I just mentioned. When you're building out the fabric of someone's world, I think you got to be honest about it. And, you know, it's just like if and and, and I'm not trying to, you know, be um, oversimplify it. But if it's raining outside, then the character should be wet. And right. so what's happening in the real world has to be reflected in, in our stories. And so I and I felt like, you know, as a black man, I'm not going to sit here and do a story about a black detective and then tiptoe around some of the realities about the relationship between law enforcement and the black community. Right. What I want to do is build that into the fabric of the show. And I want to show, you know, more than one uh, perspective and make that organic to what the characters are thinking and feeling mm -hmm. and saying, as opposed to me getting up there and preaching. Right. And what went into the cast selection process? I know um, to have, you know, good chemistry on camera, I'm assuming that you guys are kind of like a big family, like off camera too. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you picked up on that. You know, there's always, you never know what's going to happen when you build a team out. And uh, it's so important. It, it No matter how professional the actors are, if you don't have certain chemistry, you don't get this thing that pops. It's a magical element that happens on screen. And for us, um, we just really got a great team together. It starts with Aldous Hodge, who was the perfect person for Alex Cross. I feel like he was born to play this role. And even though I've always loved him as a performer, uh, I feel like he really took his game to a whole new level. And part of that's probably because he finally got a chance to really be the, the one in the center of a show and be spotlighted like that. But then you have Isaiah Mustafa, you have Alona Tal, you have Ryan Eggold, you have uh, Samantha Walks, you have Johnny Ray Gill. I mean, I can go on and on. The cast is amazing, but the thing you put your finger on in terms of the chemistry is what makes it all work because they all showed up as team players. They all showed up with, without being selfish. They just wanted to make the show better. And I think it really shows Right. And my last question for you, um, how does this series, I guess, differ from other crime and thriller series, whether it be on Amazon or Netflix? What would you want people to know about what makes this series different? I think there's a lot of a lot of things about this show that people will will find refreshing. We have our own flavor. Um, we call it nostalgia noir. And um, I think that that's one thing that people will love. It, it, it's shown in the way that it's shot. It's shown in the music. Um, we also have a thriller that, and, and when I say thriller, we deliver on the thriller element as good as anything out there. But now you have that last piece that I think is the most surprising, the most valuable thing. We don't just give you a great mystery. We give you a great character journey. And for me, as a fan of crime shows, 
I had to look back and say, well, what are the ones that I remember the most? What are the ones that I keep as my favorites? And I realized that those were the ones where I invested in the characters. And this is a show that gives you characters you can invest in. Amazing. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Um, and it was nice meeting you. Thank you. It was great to meet you as well.